Hi everyone, welcome to Home is Home. It's a pleasure seeing you with another video. It's kids favorite sandwich cookies. Kids will definitely love it, so do we. These sandwich cookies are easy to make and easy to munch, melt in the mouth. Please do try this recipe. Please subscribe, press the bell icon for the new notifications. Also, like in Facebook, follow me on Instagram. Please look into the description below for the full ingredients. Let's get started. You will need vanilla, softened butter, flour, 2 eggs, sugar, cocoa powder, baking powder and baking soda. I'm adding in the butter. The butter has to be in room temperature and then the sugar. Whisk until it's fluffy. And then I'm adding in the eggs. Then whisk again until everything is combined well. I'm sifting in the flour, cocoa powder, baking powder and baking soda. Baking soda helps the cookie to get crispy. Now use your spatula to mix it well. I am adding a tablespoon of vanilla essence. When the dough is done, wrap it with a cling film and leave it in the refrigerator for maximum 3 hours. I leave it in the fridge for overnight. You can even freeze this dough. Now let's prepare the filling. It's a buttercream filling so you need the butter to be room temperature. Beat until it turns its color to pearl. And then I am adding in the icing sugar and then incorporate well and then the vanilla extract now the cream mixture is ready now this is next day I took out the dough from the refrigerator avoid using the dough as soon as out from the refrigerator just sprinkle some flour on top and give it a light massage so that it doesn't crack when you roll it I am dividing into two portions and giving it a massage. And then I start rolling it to a thin sheet. Sprinkle some flour on top so that it does not stick together. Now it's done and I am using a small cookie cutter. You can use even some lids, whatever the preferred shape you like. Use the excess dough again. Give a massage with your hand and wrap it with a cling film. Leave it in the refrigerator and it will be ready for the next batch. As you can see, I am giving a small massage and making it into a smooth dough again. Meanwhile, I preheated my oven and then placed all my cookies. And that was ready to go in the oven. I started preparing for the next batch. I rolled it into a thin sheet, cut my desired shape and then took off the excess and left the excess in the fridge for the next one. Now my cookies are ready. As you can see, it looks really crispy and hard enough for a cookie. You can store this cookie in a glass jar up to three weeks but i'm sure it will run out before that now it's time for filling you can use a piping bag if you have i used a small spoon for the filling i took a cookie and filled it with a cream filling and placed another cookie on top and squeezed a little bit and took off the excess cream out Now 
now it's ready let me show you one more a cookie cream filling and one more cookie on top using a piping bag will give you a neat look so if you have piping bag please use them These cookies were so delicious and very crunchy. I was able to make 38 cookies, which was more than enough, but it just ran out in 2 days. Please try this recipe at home. Also, please subscribe, share and like my video. Thank you for watching. See you soon with another recipe.